Hello, this is my review of Horse Party, the original, not the not the Book of Shadows, not the Blood Drive, not the all the others they got, uh, is or not even the spinoffs. It's the original Horse Party, the only the only one that's actually pretty good. I remember I played this game. This is now, as you can see, I clearly like this game because it's even the Horse Party is uh, characters, uh, the, the figures are literally my desktop wallpaper so as you can see i pretty much fucking love this game i really love this game now although i love this game it does have a lot of flaws such as such as the puzzles there's puzzles uh, like a lot of puzzles it's, it's it's made by an rpg maker game so it comes as like no no surprise that there's gonna be stupid puzzles i hate puzzles in games i like the story of this although the story of the, i mean although it had an anime adaption which is pretty bad but like in a funny way it was actually good because it was bad the anime adaption was pretty hilarious because because of how bad it was how like the pacing was so bad you should you should definitely check out the course party anime is pretty funny in an unintentional like it, it wasn't meant to be funny but it ends up just being funny the game has some stupid moments too but that just adds to the funny shit uh there are times i can't take this game seriously but there are times that actually makes me guess goose gum go goose gumps what i mean goose 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 fucking bumps goose gums go goose 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 bumps so the game gets me some goosebumps. I love the characters. They get you really invested in the characters. Although the anime is really Ooh. shit, the game is actually pretty damn good. However, the gameplay is actually pretty shit. So the gameplay is just you wa you walk around the damn thing, walk around, find something, do do puzzles. T they talk too much. Sometimes the characters just talk way too much. They're pretty good at like details and shit though. They're pretty good at like the detail setting the atmosphere like they should just write a visual novel or a book or something not make it this really lame gameplay rpg maker thing because all rpg horror games have good story but like really shitty really shitty gameplay where you just like i say you just walk around and, and all that but i what i really like about this game though is the aesthetics look at the aesthetics look at this they, they have figures and stuff my friend shiny has the figures um, not, I don't think it, yeah, it's not these, he has the Naomi, and Naomi and the other character I cannot remember the name of, um, sadly, but there's these two characters, there's these two characters right here, I wish I had these figures, apparently I don't, I mean, unfortunately I don't, but it's super cute, I made it into my desktop wallpaper, that's how much I love the aesthetics of Course Party, because that game is aesthetic, and, and the very good horror aesthetic, I love it. But, like I said, the problem is, you just, you walk around the damn horror school place over and over, going through the same places over and over, and I'm thinking, why don't I just watch a walkthrough of this game? This game sucks, as in gameplay, why don't I just, why don't I just watch a walkthrough? So then that's exactly what I did actually. I played the game and I was like, man, this game sucks. And then I watched a walkthrough and I was like, well, this game is actually pretty cool. Like, this game is fun to watch, but it's not fun to play, okay? It's frustrating and stressful as all heck to play, but it's pretty fun to actually watch walkthrough video gameplay of it. And that actually goes with many games for me, but you know, whatever. They have some really good voice acting, some... some hentai scene kind of things going on is pretty cool so and like i said i think they talk too much and sometimes they go way into detail other times there's uh, they do pretty damn good with with the dialogue and make it like super creepy and a as aesthetic and atmospheric but like a lot a lot a lot of times they just talk too much and it gets really boring and I, like the game is kind of like a it's like a 6 out of 10, I guess, but then it's like kind of a 7, but then it's like a 6, I, I don't know. Is The game game is just, is, is, is a good game. There's a lot of suspense, but if I played the game t today, I probably wouldn't like it as much, because it kind of, it kind of lost its, uh, it, 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 it's not as good, it, it hasn't aged well, that's, that's what I meant to say. It hasn't aged well as much, however, the art style and the aesthetics have aged well. But I think the story hasn't really aged as well, because they just there's too much like too much filler. 
and I want to like get rid of like the filler and stuff. I think the age of fillers, the era of all those fillers, is sl is slowly dying more and more. Cause like back then in anime and video games, but like mostly anime, you had all these like Naruto and Bleach shits, where they just like filler, 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 so much filler. Now it's like we're getting less filler, and like a anime just gets to the point, you know. But then that's that brings up another point where the course party needs to just sometimes just get to the point stop stalling it so damn much it gets really boring when this game just like doesn't just get to the point of like just go back to the main point of the story you, and as it, yeah but the characters are pretty cool it really gets you invested in the in the many characters of this game so yeah thank you for watching this amateur review of amateur review of course party bye bye